Yes? Apparently there's some new Pokemon stuff out and I'm gonna open it. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back finally to another Pokemon unboxing. It's been a couple of weeks now. I've been trying to actually get something recorded, but guys, I gotta tell this story, man. It was the most disappointing thing ever. First of all, the Evolving Sky set, which is the newest one that came out for Pokemon, was delayed in the UK. So every single shipment when it came to boosters, or I guess the booster boxes were good, but the Elite Trainer boxes, no one could really get their hands on any of that product. It was super difficult to get. So my order was delayed like, two and a half weeks. You know, I had to sit tight, not really have the chance to open it. Then they finally arrived and I wanted to open one for a video. I went ahead, I unboxed the ETB, I recorded it and I got the deadest pulls I have ever seen. I was so disappointed to the point where I just couldn't even bring myself to upload it. So I am really hoping right now that the products you can see in front of me, which is the new EV tins, we got the Flareon, the Vaporeon and of course the Jolteon one. I'm hoping these guys give me a little bit of luck and even if they don't, I'm gonna just upload this video anyway, just so we can see what we get. That's kind of the thing when it comes to Pokemon, the pulls that you get can sometimes dictate if you even go ahead and upload the video. So it's not that I'm not making videos for this channel. It's just that they're so boring and dull because I get no pulls. What's the point? Enough rambling though, man. This is going to be fun. These are three different variations of tins and within them, I think you get four different sets. So that's going to be cool, like to not just experience the new one, some of the older ones as well. A tin for the eons. Take the next step up in your game with Eevee's original evolutions. That's what we like to see and what we didn't really see in those alt arts when it came to the new set evolving skies like they just took them out and now it, it seems like they're almost appearing in like promotional products and like the cardboard box type things that's where you can actually get these as the promo cards which i guess is kind of nice so it's not based on poor rates but this should be cool one of three foil cards which we've got all three of those and four tcg booster packs so let's get straight into these things i don't even know what this thing is it came in like a nail kit so this is actually the new opening method we've gone from the comb to something completely different that should be enough so let's get straight in this tin and see exactly what the goodies are. Jesus. My bad also if the camera's a little bit close up. Uh, the camera I use when it comes to like the hand camera, it like zooms in whenever you try and do like a movie or something. It's it's so weird, man, but let's go. So this is gonna be the Flareon tin. I do really like the design of this tin though with the Vaporeon and the Jolteon on the side and the Flareon also there. It looks really stylish and it does look modern because sometimes these tins, they feel like they can be kind of outdated with their style. Okay, we're gonna have to get this promo out kind of carefully. I, I don't really like how it's been put in here because this can seriously damage cards. So I hope when it comes to the alternate art VMAX stuff, they do a little bit of a different job when it comes to storing the cards. So there you go. There is the Flareon. Some of the worst center in our scene, man. Like my good, you see the weight differences in this corner? The good thing about this though, it is a promo, so it's not exactly gonna be a highly collectible thing, but that's a pretty sick little promo exclusive to the products and one for the binder. Now, when it comes to the packs inside of the tin, these are the four that you get. You can see them stacked. So one Evolving Skies, you get one of the Chilling Rain, one of the Battle Stars, you know, they're trying to get rid of that product, guys, but I don't mind it. Battle Stars was cool. And then an actual Sword and Shield base. And this, I think, is the best pack out when it comes to the Sword and Shield base, too. Just a Snorlax with literally an Earth on his belly. Like, what more is the to it? I'm actually going to crack the other two tins just so we don't have to mess around with the Cellophane and things like that. So I'll get that done and we'll check out the promos. All right, so these are the other two promos that we get. Far better when it comes to the centering. Let's see. This is Sword and Shield 151 and 150. So that's a lot of promo cards throughout the Sword and Shield era. These two though, they do look great and I do really like the hollow pattern, especially on the Vaporeon. Looks really effective with it being a water type Pokemon. It seems to suit it even more. All right, but now we have our stack of packs. Let's do these all in order. And I think I'm not gonna go like all of one set and all of the next. I do wanna kind of keep it so we open this one, move over to Chilling Rain, just to re-experience these sets one more time. So let's go with Evolving Skies. I'm hoping we get at least one pull, but as I say, man, this video is going up regardless of what the pulls are because I can't just keep recording things and it never turn into a video. So we go four to the front. All right, let's get this started. Uh, I mean, center and check looks kind of off. So hold on, are we onto something? All right, psychic energy. We've got the Falafi, bravery. <laughs> Wait, what? Hang on, is that right? Dude, what the heck? I just got a double bravery? Um, okay, <laughs> what the heck? I don't think they should be doing that. Like duplicating the cards that you can get, but all right. Uh, I'll tear at reverse and we finish up with a regular Smeagol as our rare for that first pack. Let's go with the Chilling Rain. Been a while since I've opened one of these. I was fortunate enough to pull the Galarian Moltres, which was a really, really nice pull. And uh, I think I got that in Dorco's video. It was before I was actually uploading to my own channel. So let's get this started. We've got a Leaf, uh, a Drizzle or Drizzle, Dinatree. I kind of, I've forgotten some of the cards within this one. It's been 
such a while. Snova, Galarian Yamask, we got the Coughing, Shuppet, Sfeel, Zarud in the reverse, and we finish up again. Ooh, the Hollow Gengar. One of the cooler hollows from Chilling Rain. I do really like the artwork for this one. So I'm pretty happy with that pull, not bad. All right, let's move over to the greatest set of all time. Everyone wants this, right? You just can't get, it's flying off shelves, man. Like you can literally never find battle styles. Am I right, guys? My hair is so fluffy as well, man. I just showered, so you know how it is. Another leaf energy here. We've got a Cheryl, if the camera wants to focus. There we go. Dublade, Morpeko, Blipbug, Sphinx or Shinx, Esper, Roly Coly, Salandit, Honkrow or Honchcrow as our reverse. And we finish with another Hollow. It is a Houndoom. Can we get some of those as Vs though? That would be sick. Let's move over then to Sword and Shield base. Now, this is a product I never really got to experience because by the time I was back in Pokemon, this was just like nowhere. You couldn't find it. So it'd be cool to actually get a couple of hits from the Sword and Shield base, but I ain't gonna hold out one, two, three, four to the back. All right, let's check out then the Sword and Shield base set. We've got a Lumberry, a Raboot, a Ferrothorn, Marwell, Snom, Sizzlipede. These are some cool artworks. Rookedy. We have all the Ghastly making his appearance. Nice. Drizzle as the reverse hollow. And we finish up with a Center Scorch as our final card in that first one. So a couple, of, like, I guess we got two hits technically with this one, but nothing too crazy that stands out. Let's go over to the next one. We got the Umbreon on the Evolving Skies. Come on, man. This is the set where you want to get the hits right now. There's so many cool possibilities for you to get pulls when it comes to this one. Evolving Skies has been like kind of nice to me, but also not too great at the same time. I think I've opened like three booster boxes and only managed to pull one alternate out, whereas Dorko, he's got like 12 and he's opened about seven boxes, so I don't know what's going on there. Go Low Toad, Teddy Ursa, Kragonol, got a Nickit, Dweeble, Rufflet Reverse Hollow, and we finish with a Tropius Regular for our last one. So still, Evolving Sky is not treating as too kind, but also, it's a, it's a pack, man. That's what you got to expect. Give me some of that Chilling Rain. Let's go. There's a lot of cool hits when it came to Chilling Rain as well, so we'll have to see if we get any in this one here. Oh my gosh, you see the top corner of this card? Let me just kind of get that. Look at this whitening. Dude, they're cutting these things with like blunt knives nowadays, it feels like. Hang on, I gotta organize the desk too. We're getting messy here. Starting with a leaf, going into a drizzle. Dyna Tree again, Justified Gloves, Mareep. I feel like I'm opening the same pack. I don't know why. <laughs> we got the Lapras Normal, Deerling, Sneasel, and we finish with a Kecleon on the end. Dude, can I get one hit for this video though? One alternate or V. I'll take a V at this rate, man. Oh, okay. Well, I accidentally did that, so at least we got something in this one. All right, let's see then what's going to be hiding at the back of this pack here. Glammeow, Sizzlypede, Onyx. Chimcheco or Chimchio, I think it is. All right, let's go. We've got the Yamper Reverse and we finish with... Ooh, okay. So we've at least got a regular V. Let's check out which one is it. It's the Empoleon V. And you know what? I actually did not pull this one. So we got at least one somewhat of a hit with this one. The Empoleon V. Look at him. Just straight up vibing in there. Breaking mountains, not caring about anything or anyone. You've got to respect it, man. So we got the Sword and Shield one here. Let's go. Let's see what we get within the base set. One, two, three, four to the front. There you go. Starting out with the Water Potion Great Ball. Corvus Squire. There's a lot of classics. We've got the Krabby there, Chinchow, Baltoy, Nikit. So a couple of uh, duplicate arts too, and a Vulpix. That's a very nice art. Really, really like that one. It feels like it's almost like watercolored. We've got the reverse as the Great Ball, and we finish here with, ooh, Galarian Obstagoon as a hollow. So lots of hollow hits when it comes to these packs. I'll take it. I'll take it. I haven't, as I said, really opened much Sword and Shield. These are cool to see. And we come down to the final four. You know, I'm going to open these ones in reverse because I want to end with the most modern one. So we'll start with the Sword and Shield base. We got the same pack art as last time. One, two, three, four to the front as we usually do with this thing. We got a Lightning, a Doug Trio. Double Lucky Egg. Yeah, it feels like there's a lot of classics here. Maractus, as we go on a spree and almost find none of them. Galarian Ponyta, Sobble before that. Marwal, the Pseudo Wudo as our reverse, and we finish this one with a regular <coughs> Cramorant. Let's see what the Battle Styles has for us. Hopefully a nice little gift as the last card in this one. But we're gonna have to find out. I mean, I keep sliding. It's weird. The Battle Stars, they put these packs like, or the end card the reverse way. So every time I try and avoid it, I always end up spoiling it. But I will spoil it if I know it's a hit. So let's check this one out. Is it going to be a good one or a regular hollow? Let's see. Fighting Fero. Heatmore. Got the Phobe. Hound, or is that how you say it? Phobe? Frillish. Silly Cobra. Glammeow. 
Tepig, we've got the Victory Ball as our reverse, and we finish another V, and it's the Flapple, literally an apple, and they gave this guy the V card. I can't believe it, man. So out of all the sets, I'm getting the hits in the deadest one. <laughs> hey, man, if it's an apple and it's a hit, I'll take it. Okay, let's go Chilling Rain, and then after this one, we have all but one single pack left, guys. Let's see what we can get, I guess, after that, and I revealed the last card as a Haunter. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's go. So starting with the Sidekick, Clara, Brawly, there's that Haunter. Kubfu, we got the Blitzel, Quillfish, Slowpoke, Weedle, the Reverse Hollow Weezing, and we finish this one with a regular Weezing back to back. Wow. Are you serious, fella? And that brings it all down, guys, to the Evolving Skies with the Rayquaza on front. Let's try and open this. Can this one be the one that breaks the streak of bad pulls from Evolving Skies? I highly doubt it. Starting out with the Steel, then we go Treasure Energy, Ribbon Badge, Switching Cups, QE Fly, Hitmonchan, Low Toad, Sable Eye, we're coming down, Teddy Ursa, Shopping Center as a reverse, and we finish with just a regular Flapple. So, no crazy hits ready from any of these, but this was more about just seeing what the sets were. As I was honestly expecting, because I just can't get hits lately with this thing, the highlights were absolutely the three different promos, which they do look absolutely great, and I'm definitely putting this, these three in a binder. Other than that, the hits really that we got came from Battle Stars of all sets, so that thing coming in clutch for me with these two being basically the only pulls from it a flapple v and an empoleon so basically we got duds again man but if i never post videos it's just gonna be another month of me not being able to upload so i am still gonna upload this and share my experience you know i'd like to hear from you guys if you care about the pulls that i get within the stuff or if you just want to see me open them even if i don't really get anything good would you still want to kind of see the experience maybe doing that will let me know if i can still upload the ones where we don't really get anything but we'll have to see it was cool to re-experience four of the different sets and also get a little bit hands on with that base set sword and shield which is very very difficult to obtain so cool stuff and it was fun all the same though guys that's going to be it for this video and i'm going to clear out of here okay so you're welcome to click off this video now why are you staring at me you can click off literally any moment all right now you're weirding me out i'll do it for you